Prophet ﷺ said, don't get angry. A man came to the Prophet ﷺ and asked him, advise me, O Messenger of Allah, give me advice, what is the best thing for me to do? He said, don't get angry. Another companion came to the Prophet ﷺ and asked him, advise me, O Messenger of Allah, what's the best thing for me to do? What's the best thing that a man should do? He said, pray on time. Another man came and he asked him, what's the best thing that a man should do, O Messenger of Allah? He said, be kind to your parents. He found the Prophet ﷺ saying different things to different people. Why? Because Allah would give him information about that individual. Not that the Prophet ﷺ knew the unseen his, his ignorance that he was able to look into people's hearts and know what was going on in their hearts and then he would tell them what was good for them no Allah would reveal to him through G angel Jibreel that such and such a person doesn't treat his parents well such and such a person prays late such and such a person gets angry all the time so Prophet would give them the appropriate instruction which was appropriate for them so he said, La taghdab. Don't get angry. He said, if you find yourself angry when you're standing, sit down. And if you're still angry, lie down. But at the same time, when Usama ibn Zaid came and told him that he had killed a man during a battle in which the man had said, La ilaha illallah. And he went ahead and killed him. And he told the Prophet because he had some doubt, the Prophet got angry. When Muawiyah ibn al-Hakam had slapped his slave girl in her face, and he came and told the Prophet what he did, the Prophet got angry. So there are times when the Prophet got angry. So we know that when he said, don't get angry, this was not a, an absolute prohibition, but a recommendation. And that's why he told that man, don't get angry. But he told another man, pray on time. Right? So there is a recommendation there in avoiding getting angry. Right? Controlling oneself. And he said that the strong individual, the truly strong individual is not the champion wrestler. He is the one able to control himself or herself in a time of anger. That's the real strength. So he recommended this control of anger. And this is important because, you know, coming from a Western perspective, we had been fed this idea of getting it off your chest. It's better if you're upset with somebody rather than keeping this thing inside of you and it's just seizing inside of you. You just let them have it and you feel better. And basically they promoted this is good. It's better for you rather than holding it inside yourself you like explode at some point. Better to just let it all hang out. Right? But later on, I remember seeing some reports I was reading about two years ago I was reading an article when they and they explained that no it isn't better actually the studies have shown that those people who let it out they burst vessels in their brain and all kinds of things happen to them and it is not good for you to let it out it's better for you to control it and overcome it that's the better thing and that's what Islam says that's what Islam taught don't let it out control it but some occasions it is permissible to get angry when as the Prophet showed us when it has to do with the deen not when your wife spills tea all over your brand new soul this is the time your blood vessels are bursting no it's not it's not time it's just you know it's something from the dunya mashallah you know she didn't do it deliberately Hmm? Out of spite or something like that. It's an accident. That's what we need today. Peace, justice, and harmony is the only way.
peace, justice and harmony. That's what we need today.